Hey guys, it's Cam and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking all about the brand new Olaplex number no. 6, but before we jump right in, if it's your first time here, please hit that subscribe button down below and join the happy campers. Alright, so I just picked this product up last week at Sephora. I had a $25 gift card, that's kind of like how I go about my Sephora shopping is I trade in my credit card rewards for Sephora gift cards because it kind of gives me like the highest return I would say. So that's how I can kind of like splurge on stuff. And I really wanted to get a bunch of stuff but I was like, I don't know, should I buy this Olaplex number no. 6? Like honestly the bottle's kind of small, it's 3.3 ounces which is the same exact size as like a bottle of number no. 3 that you would pick up. and. I've bought the number three before and been like, okay, this really isn't a good deal because I can only use it a handful of times because I need a big ol' handful to spread through my hair when I use it. So I wasn't really the biggest fan of Olaplex number three. And when I saw that this was the same size, I was kind of like, mm, I don't know if I want to, you know, splurge on this. But really, you need to use like the tiniest amount of this that like I've been using this for a week and I really have not even put a dent in it. So I'm really excited about that. And so I went ahead and bought it and the very first day that I used it, like, you know, I didn't tell anyone that I used it obviously. And both my husband and my mom commented on how good my hair looked and I was just kind of like, okay. They never say anything about my hair and I try really, really, really hard. Really the only thing that has ever elicited any sort of comments have been when I do like a Careplex treatment, which if you want to see how I do that, it's really a very, very comprehensive but time consuming process to really help heal your hair. You can check out my video up here about it and hopefully it helps you. So for this to elicit that reaction from them. I was really impressed and I was sold. I was like, okay, this is gonna make my repurchase list. Now, I have not done an actual Olaplex standalone treatment, which if you wanna know a little bit more on how to fully get the benefits of that, then check out my Olaplex standalone tips treatment video. Uh, you guys really seem to be liking it and I hope that it really helps you maximize the results that you're getting from Olaplex. But I really haven't done it since I filmed my Caraplex video, which I think was back in November. And I've just been so busy with work, like I really haven't had the time to do one. And I'm not the biggest fan of number three for like, you know, all the reasons that I said before, the fact that you just get so little treatments out of the bottle. And I never felt like I really got good results from the number three as compared to the one and two. So I would say that the results that I've been getting from the number six are basically in between that. I would say this is way better than doing a number three treatment and it's not quite as good as doing a standalone one and two treatment. So for the price of this, I would say that that's a really good value considering that I feel like my hair recently has been looking a little more like I've been doing the standalone treatments when I really haven't because I really haven't had the time. And that's also what's great about this is that it's basically instant results. You don't have to sit there with Olaplex in your hair for like three to four hours and you know you don't even have to bother with fumbling with the number three like in the shower before the shower leaving it in your hair this is instant like you just put it in your hair you style it and instant results and then you can also reapply it like you know the next day as a little leave-in for your ends so this is really doing wonders for my hair especially if your hair tends to tangle or you get a lot of split ends, then I really love this because like I'm just able to finally like run my fingers through my hair, have it not get caught on anything, and I'm normally like not really able to do that, especially if I go outside. My hair will get tangled pretty quickly and then if I run my fingers through it, I'm just causing breakage. But not with this, I've literally just been able to, anywhere I go, no matter how windy, keep running my fingers through my hair, and it's really helping keep it tangle free. So if you're having issues with that, definitely give this a try. Another thing that I noticed about this, I don't know if you've ever used one of the Living Proof products, but those kind of advertise themselves as also keeping your hair cleaner longer and repelling dirt. And even though they don't talk about this, I've actually kind of experienced this where I could go longer in between washes because my hair just wasn't feeling like greasy. It was just feeling healthy and clean for like days. And I'm kind of like, what's going on? But I think it's definitely been this product because it's really the only thing that I've changed 
in my hair care routine as of late. So I don't know if that's, you know, plus or minus in your opinion, but for me personally, I do like to try to go as long as I can between washes, just because, you know, I don't want to be shampooing my hair very frequently. So I feel like it's a plus for me. And then I did also inadvertently kind of test this for being humidity proof, because um, my mom recently just had surgery, and I've had to kind of like help her in the shower with washing her back, and patting it dry and then changing her dressings. So I've been in the bathroom while she's in the shower and it's all humid in there, but for the past week with this, like my hair hasn't budged. So that's kind of incredible because normally I do use a lot of products that are supposed to be humidity proof and I don't even know if this like advertises itself as being humidity proof, but I definitely would say that it helps with that. Now, moving on to the like one con that I have about this product is the fact that this is unrated for heat protection. So what that means is that it's not like rated to a certain amount of degrees. Like if you grab a heat protectant, it'll tell you that like it's rated to 400 degrees or 450. Some of them sometimes are only 375. But this is unrated, which basically means that essentially you can only use this with the heat from a blow dryer because that's a very low heat. And even with that, I wouldn't recommend using a blow dryer on like the hottest setting unless you're going to use an additional heat protectant with it. Just because, you know, you don't want to risk it. This is a great leave-in, but unfortunately that's like the only con that I have is that if this actually had dedicated heat protection, then I really would be happy with just using this, which is what I did today. I just used this and now normally I love using my curling irons and I didn't want to do that today. I did do that the first time I tried it and even though it did make my hair really really nice I wouldn't make that a habit because it probably would lead to damage eventually so yeah if you just want to use this as like you know a blow dry lotion then it's great for that but otherwise I do recommend going in with whatever heat protectant you like to use but put that on top of it so that way the Olaplex goes on your hair first because that way it's really going to be able to penetrate it and you know make a difference and yeah, I normally do that anyways where, you know, I'll put in some sort of protein leave-in and then an oil and then a heat protectant. This is giving me comparable, if not better results than when I use like my whole leave-in cocktail as usual. So this really does replace almost everything for me except for the heat protectant. So if you could do that Olaplex, that'd be fantastic. But otherwise, don't let that stop you from getting this if you want to because again, you can just put the heat protectant on top of it. And yeah, again, like I've said, this is really the only thing I've tried in my hair for a really, really long time that's made people, like, actually comment on my hair and notice a difference. So, exactly, like, I think that that speaks for itself because my husband, of all people, is like, do you really need five things for your hair? And, you know, he always thinks that I'm getting sold and that I kind of, like, fall for marketing, but I try not to do that, you know, I try to really get a feel for if a product is working or not. And so, you know, I don't repurchase everything that I try, but this is definitely gonna make my repurchase list. All right, so enough of me rambling about this. I'm gonna show you exactly how I've been using this to get the best results from it. So let's jump right in. Okay, so I just towel dried my hair and I have not put anything else in it yet. So I'm going to take the Olaplex number six right now. And seriously, like you really only need the smallest amount. This is probably how much I'm gonna use on my entire head. So I'm just gonna spread this out and start spreading it through my hair. I don't really bring this up too close to the roots. I don't believe it would really weigh your hair down, but this is really just where the kind of like damaged parts of my hair start. So that's why I kind of only start like around here. And this spreads very, very well. I've never had an issue with the spreading poorly. Now this doesn't really leave that much residue on your hands, but I still am going to go and wash my hands because I just don't want to get anything on like my hair dryer or anything like that. So I'll be right back. And the very first thing I'm gonna do is just lightly blow dry this a little bit before I style it.
And I'm gonna go in with my John Frieda hot air brush and kind of give myself a little more of a proper blowout so you can see the results a little better. Okay, so I'm done with that and I'm not even kidding you when I say that it would take me probably like two to three different leave-ins that I use normally to achieve this kind of sleekness. So again, it's like this product is an all-in-one. But I'm going to take a little bit more right now and definitely less than you put in damp hair because it's just super concentrated. So I'm going to take the tiniest bit. And I'm just going to run like this tiny bit through my hair as a leave-in. Just to add a little bit more shininess, silkiness, and softness. Alright, and so there you have it. I'm all done. Now, I think the first time that I used it, I actually wanted to try it with my hair air dried and then curled which is what I would normally do and it seriously gave me like the softest shiniest curls that I've ever had and as a bonus it actually held them in place more so than they usually would like I feel like it held the style longer and yeah it just made it look so much better like I don't know how. But I don't advise that you do that with it on its own because again, the heat protection on this is unrated. So while I feel like it's safe enough to use on its own when you're just gonna blow dry your hair, if you do want to go in and then heat style it with a flat iron or a curling iron after, then I definitely recommend that you layer a heat protectant on top of this. So, you know, you can use something like the Kerastase Lin Out Blow Dry. Like, I can't even imagine these two as a combo. I think it'd be insane. Uh, I also have the Redken Iron Shape right here, and this is also a good one. So really just try to find like a more lightweight heat protectant because this is already doing so much for your hair that you don't really need like anything extra on it or else your hair maybe will feel a little bit like it's got too much going on. So definitely use just like a lighter heat protectant with it. So that's it. I hope you guys liked my review of the Olaplex number 6. And you can get this at Sephora and on the Olaplex.com website. I really haven't seen it at any other retailers yet because this is so new. But yeah, I was literally able to just stop by my local Sephora and pick it right up. So that was very convenient. 
And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. And please hit that subscribe button as well because I'm going to have a whole bunch of other videos coming out just like it. And also, if you want to check out my how-to makeup series that I'm also trying to film simultaneously, then I'm going to link that playlist right up here for you. Alright, and if you've already subscribed, then here's a couple more videos by me that you can check out. And if you haven't, then what are you waiting for? You can also click my face right here and it'll subscribe you to my channel. Come on, click it. Click it. There's like three different buttons to subscribe. <laughs> okay, darlings, I love you so much. Thank you for watching as always. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah.